All right, so you can sort of feel an uptick in terms of the crowd energy. A lot of these fans came to watch this man who you think has the skill set to be a future UFC champion. I do, John, and I will go on record saying that. I believe this kid has a huge future ahead of him. He has a ton of skills. He checks all the boxes. He's got the wrestling. He's got the grappling. He's got the cardio. He's got the toughness. He can do it all, but it is on him now to make good on all the work that him and his team have done to put him in this position. And the UFC, as you well know, does a masterful job with the matchmaking. When a fighter is this hyped and gets to this point of their career, they give him a guy who they think can beat him. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Well, relative to his profile, Mavsar Iafloyev may be the best fighter in the world that you've never heard of. Thankfully, you're playing with him here tonight. This is one of the best featherweights, if not pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And if I was to have to compete in an MMA round, this is the last guy I would want to be in there with. Absolutely suffocating. One of the best cardiovascular bases in the game. Outstanding grappling and wrestling. The emerging striking as well. And even when he was tested against Diego Lopez at UFC 288, Yavloyev still was able to rise to the occasion. Outstanding submission, defense, heart, championship medal. DC, I could go on, but the fight's almost upon us. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas today. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Diego Lopez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mozart and Loya. Herbert Dean's in the building, he's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever you are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. The floor was the MGM Grand. It was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. From International Fight Week to Championship Fight, all across the board, you come to T-Mobile. Good, solid strike on the ground. <clears throat> on oh, another punch on the ground gets oh, through. Like May need some defense here. Excellent ground and pound there by Ivoya. Might get the TKO here. Oh, man, some big shots, too. Oh, sidekick. Well done. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big old cut on the side. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Left hook counter there yet again. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Yavloyev gets hit with a kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand. Just out of range. Oh, a huge block there. Well, thank God the left one's open because that right eye is really starting to shut. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Just over 
three minutes to go. Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hands move, right? Great punch. Oh, he lands a hook. Big knee there. with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over-engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Look at how he throws his hip over when he throws that kick. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's going to start to get desperate. He's going to start to make some mistakes because the swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Massive head kick. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. Yavoyev gets caught by that straight hand. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick. Nasty leg kick. He's got to slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. The fighters separate. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Lands a nice punch from his back. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent, but this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at work. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Let's go. We got a scramble here. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. 
If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself, with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking. He is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets, oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know, that will hook gets tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Yavoyev getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Just missed with that right hand. Yeah, boy, it's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. We could pay dividends later. Under 90 seconds to go. Not there. Hook is there again. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Good shot lands for both guys. Lavoyev's really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call in the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. He's out. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's go. Take a seat here. All right, I need you to slow down and relax. I need you to calm that mind, okay? Let's get this stand up under control. Everything you're doing, you're forcing a little too. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the match. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. All right, so here we go. Next round is underway. It looked like maybe we would get a finish by submission in the previous round. Oh, oh he might be out. 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it. Oh! Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. That was a quick transition. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Movsar Yavoya. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Yavoya. That eye's starting to close. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself? to give him more of an advantage on the match. Making all these shots count. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. The ground strikes continue to pile up. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Now they separate. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, big shot land. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kick, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. Johnny burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Yavoyev's now dealing with a cheek cut. Clean hook there. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Good job defensively to block that punch. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fresh. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough.
All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also Ready. for the opponent. Good. Always being under attack. All oh. You heard it. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Yeah, Boyan's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Guillotine jump. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Nice defense. Beautiful ground strikes landing. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Yeah, boy, it's right back to the full mount here. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent and he keeps going to that spot. Yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Yvoyev. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Yvoyev. Right into side now. Oh, man, beautiful job to target that already compromised spot. It's getting worse by the minute. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Yeah, boy, it's right back to the full mount. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I've seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damage. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well... Well, he's got his back now. Your boy is able to transition back to side control now. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're trying to set up a submission now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is in. Oh, and he's out. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now, he's a bloody mess. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Great submission defense. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't 
very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Posture's up now. Herb Dean steps in! Oh, my goodness! How about it? Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 55 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mozart and Boyan! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.